Hello, this is Keith Hall, and today's tutorial will be on how you could hide text behind uh, objects um, in Photoshop. Now, I'm using Photoshop CC, and this is the effect that we'll create today. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, delete these layers. So we could uh, start from scratch. So basically I have an image open. And this uh, image is basically a, a picture of a downtown Chicago. So our first step is to add some text. So I'm going to click the text tool. And I'm going to add uh, some text. I'm going to accept that. Now I'm going to resize this by pressing Control T. I'm going to hold down the Shift key and drag it to a size that I want. I'm on a PC, so I'm using the hotkeys for a PC. Hit Enter. Now I'm going to move this. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to uh, decrease the opacities on this letter so we can see through it and see the objects behind it. So it makes it easier for us to uh, cut out what we need to. So I'm going to come over here to the Layers panel in a, a lower right and I'm going to select Opacity. I'm going to decrease it to about 50%. That looks good. And now what we want to do next is we want to duplicate this image layer. And there's three ways you could do this. You could uh, right click on it and select duplicate layer. Or make sure it's selected, this layer, and press Control J. And that will duplicate the uh, layer. Or the third way is to drag this layer down to this uh, uh, create a new layer icon and that's what I'll do right now so I'm going to left click drag it down on there it creates a new layer I'm going to select it and now I want to move it on top of the text layer by dragging it above there and now what we want to do is we want to create uh, a layer mask uh, on this so while this layer this duplicate image layer is selected. We're going to go up to the file menu and select layer and then select layer mask and then we're going to select hide all. So uh, let's now zoom in on this so we can see it better as we're working on it. Okay. See, that should be okay. Now, uh, let's, uh, our next step is we want to use the polygonal lasso tool to start cutting out what we don't want to see. Basically, what we want to put behind these buildings in this image. In order to do that, we must make sure that in the layers panel in the bottom right here, we must make sure that this thumbnail, this layer mask thumbnail, is selected. So now we're going to go up here to the left and make sure we get the polygonal lasso tool selected. And let's start cutting out this text. So um, we're going to select this. Okay, now we got that selection made. Now to make multiple selections, uh, before you take the next step to, in this process, we want to make sure in the options bar that we have add to selection is selected. So now we can make multiple selections here.
got that selected. Now let's do the next letter. I won't do all the letters in this example, but I just want to do it enough so you get an idea on how to accomplish this. Okay, once your selections are made, now you want to right click on any selection and you want to select fill and make sure this contents drop down is selected with white click OK and as you can see it removed those selections now let's deselect this by pressing control D as in David and then let's go back to the text layer Let's increase the opacity back up. And there you have it. Now let's zoom out. And there you have it. As you can see, these objects were now, or this text is now appearing to be hidden behind these uh, buildings in this image. Hopefully this tutorial gave you some new insights and new skill sets today in your Photoshop editing skills. And please like, share, and comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, and click on that bell notification so you always get updated when I upload new videos. I do videos on um, uh, Photoshop, web development, and also on um, a platform that I use called Builderall. Again, thank you for stopping by today. Have a great day.